Hello party people and welcome to another episode of Unboxing Nation. It's your boy Liam Underwood and I'm trying a new a new angle this time. Uh, I need to remember that the camera's there so I need to look in that way. Um, we'll see. I don't know if I prefer this or not yet. We'll find out. I've got a box that's arrived today. This is the box. It's uh, it's quite an exciting little box here. Uh, I have, as always, I've redacted my address and then I also redacted the, the return address of where the box has come from. Um, just, I thought it was the right thing to do, to be honest. So this is a Royal Mail 24 delivered box. Uh, so Royal Mail will deliver this in 24 hours, which is which is good. Um, it's a parcel, it's 290 grams. And here's something that I think is quite interesting about this. And I don't know why this has been done, but if you look at my name, my name's been put on there twice. Liam Underwood, Liam Underwood. So, you know, twice the fun, I guess. Um, now, this is another one of those boxes, right? where not necessarily printed onto the box itself, but on the tape, there's a, a pretty significant clue as to where this box has come from. A bit like with Amazon, right? But here's the difference. With, with Amazon, it's still who knows what could be inside that box, because um, Amazon offer quite a wide range of products, as I'm, I'm sure you're aware. Um, but this one, well, this says, this says here, more Warhammer, more often. So I think we can have a pretty good guess as to what's inside this box. It's going to be something Warhammer related. Now, get your scissors, trusty scissors as always. We're going to use these to cut that Warhammer tape and then we'll be able to get into the box most likely. So what do I always say when you're using scissors? The number one rule, be careful. You do not want any scissor mishaps. That would be real bad news. And Unboxing Nation, I'm looking out for you guys. The number one audience. Thank you for the subscribes. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the love and comments. I haven't received any yet, but this is a preemptive thank you because I'm sure they're coming at some point. So we just cut through the tape here, um, and as you can see, that's starting to give us a bit of entrance into the box. Now you've got two options from this point. You could continue cutting down and along like this long bit of the box, or here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start cutting from this side as well. So we'll just cut there nice and carefully, minding the fingers and everything. Um, and now we have both ends of this box open. So again, you can brute force this, you can just rip it and get straight into it if you want to. And that is the, the technique I would normally opt for. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you the cutting technique. So this is when you get scissors and you put them like, what you're looking for is, right, let me explain this. So this box, right, it's two flaps that have been folded together and then tape has been put across those two flaps. So when you get your scissors in there, you want to get them between those two flaps. You don't want to necessarily cut the flaps themselves, but you want to cut between them and you cut that tape that's holding them together. That's a top tip. An unboxing nation, Liam Underwood, top tip. So we just start cutting. And there shouldn't be a lot of resistance when you're cutting here um, because you're not cutting into the actual cardboard itself, really. You're just cutting the tape. Uh, or in this case, we've got a shipping label uh, as well as the tape that we're cutting through. But you know, that's still, that's just two paper things. So as you can see, I'm getting quite a nice uh, straight cut there because I'm just following in between the flaps. I'm not cutting the cardboard itself. Um, so we just keep cutting, 
All right, so now I've started cutting the flap a little bit, but you don't, you don't need to worry about that so much. And there you go. That's how you do that. Uh, and boom, we're inside the box at this point. So let's have a look at what is inside this little Warhammer box. There's some like air packaging, sealed air, it says. It says, well, as you can see, it, it doesn't really have the full thing on it of what it is. Uh, so it's LED air. Um, oh, here we go. This one's got a bit more on it. As you can see there, it's sealed air. So this is typically used uh, to protect what's inside the box. There's lots of different ways of doing that. Uh, you could use like um, paper. You could use um, the little packing peanut things. Um, styrofoam. Loads of ways of doing it. Um, what Warhammer has opted for is sealed air. So, you know, what have we got in here then? We have one uh, little pot. This is of something called Ard Coat. And that's used uh, once you've like put on like a transfer or something to your little miniature war figure. You then apply this over it and it keeps it like more secure and doesn't make it shiny or something. Um, so you got that. And then we've got a little pot of paint here. This is a base colour and it's called Balthasar Gold. So you use that uh, if you want to base any gold on your figures. Um, just a nice little pot there of Balthasar Gold. We have... Oh, what do we have here? A paintbrush that is in a little cylindrical tube here. This is a artificer layer, extra small. So this is perfect for all of that really tiny detail painting that you might want to do. Uh, so that's where that will come in handy, like eyes and things like that. Um, oh, it's another paintbrush. I forgot I ordered the second one. Uh, we've also got a medium base brush. So there you go, medium base brush. That's if you need to base colours, like the, the gold we've got, on a, a smaller area. It's not a small base, it's a medium. So... A medium sized area probably makes most sense for that. You wouldn't want to use it on a large area, you'd use a, a large base brush for that if you're being smart about it. You don't have to. There's not really any rules when it comes to painting. Uh, you can use whatever brush you want, really. You could just flick it at the bottle um, or dump it, dump the paint all over it if you wanted to. It might not look very good, but you've got options. Another bag of sealed air. Uh, this is all just really good free sealed air right there. Um, and then, what we have here, you see that it says Citadel Skulls. Oh, and this has 340 different skulls inside here. Um, so, you know, if you want to paint skulls and put those, I'm going to be using these on the bases of my figures. Um, so, 340 is quite a lot. So that'll keep me busy for a while. Um, and... Then we've just got like uh, order information in there. And that's what was in that box. It was a Warhammer box with Warhammer things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, if you did, uh, smash that like button. Give me the cheeky subscribe. Give me some comments. What did you think of this new angle? I don't think I like it. I keep looking at the wrong part of the screen. Um, maybe if I flip my phone that way around, it would work better. I don't know. This is Unboxing Nation. We're figuring it out as we go along. I've been Liam Underwood. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Unbox your life.